Hello, and thank you for joining us as we investigate the solar-powered electric vehicle that Aptera has developed. Aptera is now making progress toward the manufacturing of its first ever solar electric vehicle, which is expected to be completed in the year 2024. Learn about the solar electric vehicle, including its definition, parts, working, features, advantages and uses, as well as the benefits of carbon fibre. Let's investigate this together, shall we? When it comes to the body in carbon, bin C, solar electric vehicle, says EV, Aptera, Carlsbad, California, United States, has made it abundantly obvious that the first of its parts have been stamped from production tools that were commissioned at the manufacturing plant of its partner CPC, Modena, Italy. The delivery of carbon and glass fiber sheet molding compound, SNC, from CPC was disclosed by Aptera in the year 2022. This compound is being utilized in the development of the six key components of the environmentally friendly bin and C EV. For Aptera, the unveiling of its first production parts is meant to be a tangible representation of the company's progress and continuous achievements to come. The final stage of pre-production efforts is currently underway and the company has begun receiving everything that it needs to build production intent vehicles at its final assembly facility in Carlsbad, California, in the United States. Aptera claims that every component of the vehicle has been meticulously developed to ensure that it was constructed in a lightweight manner while yet maintaining its efficiency. However, before we proceed, if you are enjoying this briefing, will you kindly support this channel by liking it and clicking on the subscribe button below. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates whenever they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you in advance for your support. I'm grateful. Let us go with this. CPC will be responsible for the assembly of these production intent vehicles, which will also be subjected to rigorous crash testing and validation to assure their safety and reliability. These vehicles will be supplied with production parts that are sourced from trustworthy supply chain partners. In line with this accomplishment, the investment offering of the company is available to any and all investors willing to participate. At the moment, the company has 15,000 investors and is still growing, and it would like to express its gratitude to everyone for their support. Nevertheless, what benefits can a carbon fibre bring? In what ways will the utilisation of carbon fibre contribute to the development of Aptera's very first solar vehicle? An answer to our query about the advantages of a carbon fibre body, which Aptera is currently utilising, may be found by looking at the Finnish composites producer Excel Composites, Vanta. This new deal, which involves the supply of pultruded glass fibre composite profiles, was recently won by the Finnish company in collaboration with the Chinese automobile manufacturer Photon Bus & Coach Co. Beijing. Because of the corrosion resistance and lightweight features of composites, the glass fibre profiles will be manufactured locally in China in accordance with the agreement that was signed in February 2024. These profiles will be used to reduce the amount of maintenance that is required for Photon's cars so that they weigh less. In addition, the geometric design flexibility of composites will make it possible to make structural engineering applications that are more extensive than those of traditional metals like steel and aluminum. A large variety of commercial vehicles, like as trucks, buses, vans and construction vehicles, are produced by Photon Bus and Coach Co., which is considered to be a subsidiary of BIC. The manufacturing of electric and hydrogen vehicles has been the primary emphasis of Photon, notably in the bus and coach business, in order to align with the developments that are occurring in the industry. On behalf of a wide variety of bus models, Excel Composites will manufacture a series of structural composite profiles. Pultrusion technology with glass fibre is utilised in the production of these profiles, which include fibre-reinforced plastic, FRP side panels, skirt panels and manufactured roofs. In comparison to conventional aluminum profiles, they have a 30% lower density while yet offering a higher tensile strength and endurance. Mr. He, who is the head of group research and development for Photon Bus and Coach Company, emphasizes that Excel's profiles improve our design process in ways that are only achievable with composite materials. The geometric possibilities are key for complex shaped structural components, he says. 
The weight savings of fiberglass in comparison to aluminum reduces strain on both the chassis and the battery. Excel Composites has managed to achieve complicated geometric features that equal the strength of traditional aluminum while being light in weight, according to Kathy Wong, Executive Vice President for the Industrial Solutions Business Unit at Excel Composites. This has been accomplished over the course of several decades, according to Wong. At the same time, the finished profile has a smooth surface finish, which negates the requirement for any additional processing. In addition, in contrast to aluminum extrusions, which are restricted to a width of 0.3 meters and call for many connections in order to create larger panels, our composite profiles are capable of extending up to 1.2 meters in width and 12 meters in length. This guarantees the structural integrity and the cohesiveness of the structure. Protrusion is another method that Excel Composites can utilize for applications like as internal air ducts, baggage racks, side shields and flooring. Additionally, pull winding can be used for small diameter tubes, which in turn helps to reduce the amount of energy that buses consume and the amount of weight that they carry. Let us now take a look at this scientific study with a great interest in order to gain a better understanding of how carbon fiber body works for automobiles and the reasons why Aptor has chosen to use carbon fiber for its solar electric vehicle model, which will soon see production. This research, which was conducted not too long ago and was headed by Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden, has demonstrated that carbon fibers have the potential to function as battery electrodes, thereby directly storing energy. The incorporation of carbon fiber into the energy system paves the way for new possibilities in the field of structural batteries. The utilization of this kind of multifunctional material has the potential to greatly contribute to the reduction of weight in the aircraft and vehicles of the future, which is a big obstacle for the electrification process. In order to be powered by electricity, passenger aircraft ought to be far lighter than they are at the moment. Additionally, a reduction in weight is highly significant for vehicles in order to increase the amount of distance that can be driven on a single charge of the battery. At Chalmers University of Technology, Professor of Material and Computational Mechanics Leif S is conducting research on the capability of carbon fibers to perform a wider range of jobs than just fulfilling the role of a reinforcing material. For instance, they have the ability to store energy. A car body would then be not simply a load-bearing element, but also act as a battery, according to his explanation. It will also be possible to use the carbon fiber for other purposes, such as harvesting kinetic energy, for sensors, or for conductors of both energy and data. If all these functions were part of a car or aircraft body, this could reduce the weight by up to 50%. A study on how the microstructure of carbon fibers impacts their electrochemical properties, or their capacity to function as electrodes in a lithium-ion battery, was recently published. ASP managed a group of researchers from a variety of fields that conducted the study. Up to this point, this has been a research field that has not been investigated. The microstructure of various types of carbon fibers that are accessible for commercial use was investigated by the researchers. According to their findings, carbon fibers that have crystals that are tiny and poorly aligned have excellent electrochemical capabilities, but they have a lesser stiffness in comparison to other fibers. When compared to carbon fibers that have big crystals that are well orientated, these fibers have a high degree of stiffness. However, their electrochemical properties are not sufficient for usage in structural batteries or other applications. We now know how multifunctional carbon fibers should be manufactured to attain a high energy storage capacity, while also ensuring sufficient stiffness, according to ASP. A slight reduction in stiffness is not a problem for many applications such as cars. The market is currently dominated by expensive carbon fiber composites whose stiffness is tailored to aircraft use. There is therefore some potential here for carbon fiber manufacturers to extend their utilization. According to the findings of the study, the types of carbon fiber that possess favorable electrochemical qualities exhibited a greater degree of stiffness than steel. On the other hand, the types of carbon fiber that possessed unfavorable electrochemical properties exhibited a stiffness that was slightly more than twice as high as steel. The following are some of the most common components that can be found in a solar car. 
Solar panels are the principal components that are responsible for absorption of sunlight and subsequent conversion of that energy into electricity. Solar panels are typically positioned on the exterior of the vehicle in order to maximize their exposure to the sun. One of the components of solar automobiles is a battery pack, which is responsible for storing any excess energy that is produced by the solar panels. This energy is utilized to power the automobile in situations where there is a lack of sunlight or when there is a requirement for more power. Electric motor. Solar cars are typically electric vehicles, EVs, and they are fitted with electric motors to move the wheels. Solar cars are also designed to be environmentally friendly. The electric motor is the component that is accountable for accomplishing the transformation of electrical energy into mechanical motion. The flow of electricity between the solar panels, the battery pack, and the electric motor is managed by an electronic controller of the system. Power distribution is regulated by it in order to maximize both performance and efficiency. In the event that there is inadequate sunshine, or when there are overcast days, solar cars may be equipped with a charging system that allows the batteries to be recharged from an external power source. This instrument, known as a power tracker, is responsible for optimizing the orientation of the solar panels in order to maximize their exposure to the sun. The angle of the panels is adjusted in accordance with the position of the sun, which is tracked by this system. Providing traction and support for the vehicle is the responsibility of the wheels and tires, which are components that are standard in all cars and may be found in any vehicle. As a result of its ability to absorb shocks and vibrations from the road, the suspension system is responsible for ensuring a ride that is both smooth and stable. Steering system. Solar cars are equipped with a steering system that allows the driver to control the directional movement of the vehicle. Brake system. Brakes are one of the most important safety features of a vehicle because they are utilized to either slow down or stop the vehicle. A vehicle's body is meant to reduce the amount of air resistance and increase its aerodynamics while the frame is responsible for providing the vehicle with structural support. We feel that you have a complete understanding of how a solar automobile operates at this point. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. It would be greatly appreciated if you would show your support by liking and subscribing to this channel as your show of motivation for contents like this coming to you. We appreciate your presence online to watch. Hope you will be able to join us when the next video is uploaded on this channel. See you.